going on, Fight Fans? This is the Encyclopedia George Kennebrew here for MMAMayhemRadio.com. We are here in Greenville, North Carolina, Next Level Fight Club number one. This interview is being brought to you by the official bulldog of MMA, Unique Kennels. Please go check them out on Twitter at Unique Kennels number 71. Now, I am standing here with the brand new Next Level Fight Club middleweight champion of the world, Jamie Pickett, man, brother. I don't know if I got any more words to say, man. You took my breath away. All I'm gonna say is, bro, you went in. That's all I'm gonna say, you went in. And from the beginning of the fight, y'all was talking, y'all was jabbering and gibbering and all that stuff. And then you said, right knee to the face. And it was all she wrote from there, man. Talk about it. I just went in for the kill, man. I said, you know what, here with a fly knee, maybe we stand up. He wanted to go to the ground. I was like, I'm a brown belt, let's go. Now, I, I heard now from our, from our uh, pre-fight interview last night, you know, you were saying he was in some trouble. You know, he said he was in elbows and knees type of trouble. He didn't take too kindly to that. But at the same time, you still delivered and gave him the punishment. So do, do you think just by those words that you said, you think you kind of rattled him and threw him off his game? You think that's that's what was your one of your plans going into the fight to throw him off his game a little bit? You can't throw that guy off. Even in the second, even when to the second round, he, he was ready to go here. It wasn't no backing down from him, and I respect that. He he wanted to fight me just because I want to fight him. And that second round, he wanted to fight me even more. But I didn't. I, I knew taking him to the ground was my bread and butter. Once the first round was over, I saw he didn't have much of a ground, so I was like, we can go back to it. But I wanted to stand. Now, as you were beating on him, I could have sworn I was at a Seattle Seahawks game, man. I mean, these fans in here are like the 12th man. I mean, I, I could literally feel the noise from the crowd, like coming on top of me. I mean, it, it was it was electric in here. Did you feed off that energy? Yeah, man, my whole family was here. Uh, Greenville, Dublin County, Deep Bottom, all that was in there today. And I was, he was sporting me, and I'm happy. I'm very happy. Now, lastly, man, when we spoke to you on MMAMayhemRadio.com, you said no pressure, no problem. And look at you, man. You came out with the 12 pounds of gold, new middleweight champion. You feel like it was all worth it, man. I mean, this 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 the first event, and you made a hell of a first impression. Yes, sir. And we're gonna do more. Coming after that, whoever got a belt, I'm coming for that too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you heard it. He said he's gonna pack all the gold before it's all said and done. This is Jamie Pickett, Mr. No Pressure himself. This interview has been brought to you by the official Bulldog of MMA, Unique Kennels. Please be sure to go check them out at Unique Kennels number 71 on Twitter. I'm going to let him go turn up, and we're going to turn the page because it's over.